Welcome back to The Drawing Board, brought to you by CyberArk. I'm Emma Telpe, and joining us to talk about user behavior analytics is Stas Neiman from the CyberArk product marketing team. Thanks, Emma. Let's start our discussion today by taking a quick trip down memory lane to the early 2000s. What are the top three trends that popped into your head from that time? Looking back, I do remember those indestructible Nokia cell phones, hearing a lot of boy bands like NSYNC, and I will never forget those huge, clunky desktop computers. Uh, desktop towers under the desk. My shins certainly remember those. Computers, cubicles, and coming into the office every day is definitely very 2000s. And while it wasn't the most convenient thing as an employee, for IT security teams, it was great. Everyone logged in to work on the same corporate issue devices from same network at about the same time. So a solid firewall and a VPN were pretty much all that was needed to keep organizations secure. Today, things are a bit more complicated and a lot less predictable, aren't they? That's an understatement. You have employees spread out across the globe, some never even coming into the office. In addition, everyone uses personal devices to check their work email or access cloud-based apps, and almost no one works the typical 9 to 5 workday. So it's no wonder enterprises find it challenging to develop strong security controls. It seems like the only consistent thing they can count on is that today's perimeter is now the first line of attack, and the bad guys know it. They sure do. Cyber criminals are making every attempt to gain access to protected resources and data. And one of the most common ways is by using weak or compromised credentials. Once a compromised password is obtained through phishing, social engineering, or brute force, the bad guys can impersonate legitimate users and can get access to your most critical data. There are, of course, ways to prevent these types of breaches by enforcing complex password requirements, using single sign-on, and requiring multi-factor authentication, or MFA, to access every single resource. There is a small problem, though. What's that? Nobody likes traditional MFA. Yes, it protects companies from breaches, but it also introduces friction into your day-to-day -day activities. It certainly does. Nobody likes being prompted with security challenges every single time they want to use an application or access a resource. The user experience should help people be productive, not the opposite. I agree. However, there is a better way. You can implement adaptive multi-factor authentication that leverages user behavior analytics to make intelligent access decisions without frustrating users with unnecessary prompts. User behavior analytics uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to evaluate how your users typically access applications needed to do their jobs. From there, it can identify routine behavior patterns, establish baseline user profiles, and uncover unusual activity symptomatic of a cyber attack or data breach. In other words, they make your access management solutions smart. Absolutely. User behavior analytics is the engine that powers risk-aware and context-aware access controls. Let me explain how it works. Tell me, how do you typically access your applications? OK, well, I usually work from my home office in Boston. I log into my Mac in the morning. I access the app and enter my single sign-on credentials. Great. Now, what if someone used your credentials to access an app? Only it's from a Windows machine in the middle of the night from San Francisco. That would be pretty suspicious, right? Definitely. That's where user behavior analytics comes into play. Traditional access controls would not know the difference, but user behavior analytics will immediately flag this attempt as high risk based on the never before seen location, the access attempt outside typical business hours, and from a new device. Behind the scenes, the user behavior analytics engine is taking in data, signals, inputs, and contextual clues, and using what it's learned to do two things, generate a risk score, and take specific action based on the perceived risk. In our example, since the risk is high, the suspicious user could be prompted to pass additional authentication challenges. These challenges can depend on how sensitive the application you're trying to access is. Low-risk apps can require more convenient authentication factors like SMS or push notification. In contrast, high-risk apps might require you to supply a physical hardware token to prove that you are who you say you are. So that means user behavior analytics acts as the brain that continuously helps enterprises make intelligent access decisions. Yes, and so much more. Powering an adaptive form of MFA and SSO is just the tip of the iceberg. Since user behavior analytics captures and analyzes all access activity for your users, security teams can use this analysis to visualize risk and uncover hidden insights. 
Typically, enterprise security teams are inundated with alerts and stretched for resources. With users by the hundreds, thousands, or more, you can't manually comb through access logs to understand what is happening. User behavior analytics can take care of that, but not all are built the same. So security professionals should look for capabilities that provide interactive and customizable dashboards so they can see potential threats in real time. More importantly, with the right dashboards, you can drill into any access attempt and see which factors contributed to the risk score, what contextual information was captured, and any historical data points for that specific user. Once a threat is identified, you can automatically take actions like sending Slack alerts to your security teams or even locking the user. The nice thing is, while security controls can become more stringent for greater risk, they can also be relaxed in lower risk situations so that end user has an easy and seamless experience. So as you can see, powering access solutions with user behavior analytics helps organizations to put security first without putting user productivity second. It enables security teams and the tools they use to make intelligent access decisions and all at scale. To learn more about user behavior analytics and how CyberArk is helping organizations uncover and act on insights to secure their users' identities, please visit CyberArk.com. Thanks for tuning in to The Drawing Board, brought to you by CyberArk. See you next time.